Having guests on your live show does a number of things. Number one, it exposes your audience to a new voice, perspective, and expertise. Number two, it allows you as the host to flex your interviewing skills and get your Oprah on. And finally, number three, it can potentially open you up to your guest's audience, especially if you give your guest every reason to share. Sounds reasonable. As I coach streamers, I always talk about the value proposition. The value proposition is for the audience, it is for your guest, and it's for you as the host. If you ensure your guest is bound to look like a rock star by coming on your show, you'll gain access to their sphere of influence. Tools like StreamYard's new guest destinations feature are the ultimate in leveraging your guest's audience because it allows your guest to add their social accounts as destinations for your live show in StreamYard. That helps. While live, you will get comments and viewers from your accounts, of course, but you'll also get comments and viewers from your guests' account, potentially doubling your live and replay audience. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach, and on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today, we're looking at guest destinations in StreamYard. So here we are in StreamYard, right on the dashboard. And first of all, I want you to want to let you know what accounts get guest at destination. So let's go over to the plans and you'll see here on screen that uh, it is not included in the free plan, but you'll see it here, um, guest destinations right here in the basic plan. And so you can see here that it says great for getting more viewers. You can choose to allow guests to send your stream to their own social accounts. Each guest may add up to two destinations. Um, each broadcast allows up to six guest destinations in total. So each guest can add two destinations. And if you have more than one guest, you have a maximum of six additional destinations you can stream to at a time. So keep that in mind. Wanted to make sure we start right off right there. So now we're back on the dashboard and I wanna take you into the studio where we will enable this. I've created a, a stream here called Testing Guest Des Destinations. I'm gonna enter that stream. Uh, we're gonna enter that right now and uh, set up my camera and everything like that. I was gonna mute the microphone, head into that session and we, we can see that that's there now. I've got my camera at the bottom. Everything is as we normally see it in StreamYard. What we're gonna go to first is to the settings tab, right here in the bottom, middle bottom of the screen. I'm gonna just kind of zoom in on that a little bit, but this settings tab right here, we're gonna go to that, we click on settings, and you'll see on the left side of the screen, you have all these options. We wanna go to guests, right here where it says guests, we wanna go to that, guests, and you'll see at the very top, there's something that says new, right? It says new, that always lets us know what it is, and that's the same verbiage that we just read on the features page. Uh, but yes, guests can stream to this to their own destinations. Now you, as the host, must enable this so that your guests can actually use, utilize it. So if you don't enable it, your guests can't utilize it. So that allows you to have have that thing set up that's pretty much all you're going to need to do as the host boom you have that set up right there you can close that out and you're ready now for your guest to join you for the live show i have already added this uh, to my youtube here so now let's take a look at what this is going to look like for the guest so here I am on my church's StreamYard account and I'm gonna use it as a guest. So I'm on this destination screen, just letting you know that the, the church does have two destinations, one Facebook, one YouTube, and, and that's good. Now, what I've done is I've sent myself the link. I've sent myself the link. That's how you will bring guests into your studio. And so now as I'm logged in as this guest, I am going to use that link to connect in to the studio. So I've come in here, I'm going to just mute the microphone. I've selected camera. Camera. I've given myself the name, the bridge. I'm entering the studio and you can see that it says you're backstage, only the host can see you. Great. Now, one of the things that you'll see, you'll notice on the top of the right portion of the screen is that it says stream this to your audience. Stream this to your audience. You can see that right there, stream this to your audience. Now, you would not have that option if the host has not 
enable that option. So we're gonna click on that and you'll see here that it already has my destination selected because I am logged in as the bridge. Now, right here, I wanna pause and say, if your guest does not have a StreamYard account, all it would require is for them to set up a free account and add their destinations to that free account. They Even if they never use StreamYard, if they have a free account and they set up their destinations on the free account, they can also add their destinations to your live show. So I just wanted to pause here to say that. We're gonna select YouTube and put it as unlisted because you know, we, we don't <laughs> want people to actually watch this. Testing guest destinations. And you'll notice that the guest gets to choose the title and the description for that rebroadcast to their destination. So they may want to say to their audience something slightly different. Hey, I'm being interviewed over here on this other channel, whatever you want to do there, add your description. Maybe they want to add some different links. They may have a standard thing that they put on theirs, whatever it might be. Um, so then click save changes that is going to add that destination and you'll see that that actually adds that destination or this broadcast. And now I'm going to go back to the host account and we're going to go live and we're going to look at some comments on how they come in live on both destinations. So here we are. We're live on both platforms. You can see that as the host, I can see that we're live on my platform here, but I can also see that we're live on my guest platform here and you can see that link. And if we go back to the guest platform, guests can see all the different comments that are coming in as well. They can see themselves in the show and everything like that. So that's what it looks like for the guest. And this is what it looks like for the host. But if we go to the two different platforms, this is my uh, destination where we're streaming and you can see some comments there and we put in some comments from the guest destination as well. Well, so we have both of those open and we can see those comments in the comment section here in StreamYard. So we can see those comments coming from the guest destination. Some of those, some of these are from the guest destination and then some of these are from my destination. Those comments come together in the comment section and we can simply add those to the screen wherever we want and we can engage around those comments and talk with the audience and we can have a really impactful show that has broader reach because we're actually leveraging this feature to share this with multiple destinations. I love this feature and have used it multiple times in the past couple years, both as a guest on other shows and for guests that I'm hosting on my show. What? I can see you're a bit confused, so let me verbalize your confusion. If this feature was just released, then Kirk, how have you been using it for years? How? So glad you asked that question. <laughs> That's simply because this exact same feature has existed for years from Restream. It, they call it pairs. And I'll leave a card for you to check out that video right here. This is what I love about covering multiple streaming platforms because we get to see how we as consumers influence the brand's functions and features that they deliver to us. So huge kudos to the StreamYard team for listening and providing this awesome functionality for their community. Learn more StreamYard updates and features from these videos.